It's me, DB, and welcome to All Things Brass and Technology. Yes, man. Let me see what's going on. Listen, today we're just hanging out. Thank you so much for being here with me, DB. We're just hanging. I'm in DB Studios with many Lotus Mouth pieces because I'm gearing up for a review. So I'm trying some mouthpieces and trying and trying and trying. And uh, you know what? I like this one. Yeah, man. Oh, this is my Lotus. Solo Max. You know, <laughs> yeah, dig. You know by now. You're probably even saying it before I say it. Let me take you through it. Hey, yeah, dig. Come on, man. Copper bell. Bronze bell flare. Bronze mouthpiece receiver, silver nickel lead pipe, brass tuning slide, pretty valve tops, nickel silver up here on the valve block, bronze down here, and it plays fantastically. But I have a uh, Lotus mouthpiece on here. I like this one, man. Yeah, this got a vibe, man. I can't talk about it. I'll tell you why in a minute. But it got a vibe. It's like you could paint a lot of different sounds out of this thing. Yeah, man. Stable mates, man. You ain't used to hearing it like that, right? It got a vibe, man. You slow that bad boy down. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's cut to the intro. Listen, uh, I can't really talk about this Lotus mouthpiece because it is a prototype. And I'm really hoping that they will develop this mouthpiece and put it out in the world for sale. But for now, it's just a prototype and I'm really loving it. But I do have a review coming up on the Lotus I think it's going to be the 7XL or the 7XL2 because that's most compatible with my Bach 8B. My name is DB and I play a Bach 8B, Mount Vernon. So stay tuned for that. Hey, if you like the content that I bring to this channel, all things brass and technology, please take a second to subscribe.
click on the notification bell and that will let you know every time I drop a new video. This video was a short but sweet one. Thank you for hanging with D and I will see you soon.